is there's only two things when it comes to coaching. You accept it or you correct it. That's it. There is no in-between, there is no third option. You accept it or you correct it. Every single behavior that goes on in your program, on or off the field, is either something you accept or it's something you correct. That's it. Now I see many of you are taking notes, and I love that. If you're taking notes, I want you to write this down. I want you to circle it. I want you to underline it. And then later tonight, I want you to buy a yellow highlighter and I want you to highlight it. Complaining is not a third option. It's the easiest one to default to. My players don't try hard. My players aren't smart. I've even heard coaches say before, my players suck. What does that say about you? They're your players. Now I understand there are varying levels of talent. And many of you, especially if you're in a public school setting and you're not able to recruit, I mean, you're at the mercy of the hand that you're dealt. But that doesn't change the fact that you either accept or correct everything that goes on. So in, in basketball, when a coach says, my players take bad shots, I say, yes, they do. And you know why? Because you allow them to take bad shots. You accept that behavior. See, in basketball, and I would imagine it's the same thing in lacrosse, it's not the player that takes a bad shot that's a problem. It's the player that takes a bad shot and doesn't know it was a bad shot. That's the one that will keep you up at night. So it's our job as coaches to make sure we coach that. And how do we correct behavior? Go back to those previous arrows. We correct it in the manner that will get the best response for them. We either give them the pill or we give them the applesauce in the pill. But we do what is in their best interest. And as you all see, I like to teach in threes. The reason I like to teach in threes is it makes stuff more memorable and it makes stuff stickier. And I learned that through coaching. Learn to coach in sound bites, don't coach in paragraphs. The more succinct you can be with an instruction, the more likely it is that it's going to be followed. So with those three, not only is complaining an issue, but so are making excuses and blaming other people. And if you're sitting there thinking right now, yeah, my players do that, there's a good chance you do too. On some level, all of us at some point complain about something, make an excuse about something, or blame others. None of us are immune to it. The key is, can we work to a point in our life where we work through that process really quick? where it's only a few seconds of belly aching and whining and complaining, and then we move on to self-accountability. That's what's most important. But I'll tell you this, and I know this from personal experience. If you can eliminate complaining, making excuses, and blaming others, you will immediately become happier, more fulfilled, more successful, and more significant. So if we can, if we can trim the fat and lose these three things, we're moving in the right direction.